One of the themes of the High Holidays that speaks to me is this idea of tochecha. Tochecha is often translated in English as the word rebuke. And rebuke might, for many of us, have a type of negative connotation with it. It feels like some harsh criticism, something that maybe took you off guard or was given under the wag of a finger when we were younger. But tochecha in Jewish tradition comes straight from our Torah. We are commanded to offer rebuke. We are commanded to offer feedback to one another. And in our rabbinic tradition, this concept is expanded to teach us that this type of feedback, it actually comes from a place of love. It's feedback we offer to those that we care about. It's feedback that comes to saying, I know you can do better. I wanna reflect with you. So in this season, when we are reflecting on our own actions, the reflections of others, we are seeking teshuva, we are seeking repentance. I also encourage all of us to think about ways in which we can be good receivers of feedback and we can also be good deliverers of feedback. For as tradition teaches, the houses of Hillel and Shammai, while they disagreed about literally everything, they still were able to come together. Because when we disagree, when we offer challenging feedback to one another, it doesn't mean that that needs to be the end of a relationship. It means that it's the beginning of a conversation. And in our world where so many of us are having challenging conversations, both with people we know and people we don't know, may this season be an opportunity for us to say to one another, I see you and I'm curious about the why of what you're saying. And I wonder if you could think about offering it another way. It's not rude. It's not unkind. It's helping one another become the best versions of ourselves that we can be. And in this strange year approaching this new and different high holiday season, may we continue to do that striving, that striving to be better ourselves and to help those around us become the best versions of themselves that they can be. Shana Tova. Elul is a time when we begin to prepare for the spiritual journey that is coming, where we feel a sense of excitement around the season that we're in, the festivals to come. This poem from the pages of our Machsor by Judith Kate Friedman speaks to me of that excitement and that preparation, and I wanted to share it with you. It's called Start Fresh. Summer's gone, nights grow cold. These are the days of awe, the shofar blows. With bread in hand down to the sea, we take time, give thanks, and cast our sadness free. That we may start fresh, that we may come clear, that we may know sweetness and peace throughout the year that we may find love wherever we need it most and open our hearts and hands and draw each other close. A day to fast and count the ways we've promised and fallen short. We meet each other's gaze. Begin again, life won't wait. Time turns and we return and walk on through the gates. Under the moon, a roof of trees we bring in the harvest beneath the stars we eat and sing for joy, make ourselves strong. We'll reap what we've sown and make it last all year long. That we may start fresh, that we may come clear, that we may know sweetness and peace throughout the year, that we may find love where we need it most and open our hearts and hands and draw each other close.